Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. This is Junkin 101 with Cassie and I'm Cassie. So today is part two of my design team project for Caroline's Craft Tree. You will find the links to her YouTube, Etsy, and her Facebook group down below in the description box so be sure to check those out. So in the first um, video I showed the kits that I was working with and then we started making this um, folder envelope of sorts. So um, we went ahead and we put the pockets on, we did the back pockets, we did a couple of tags and a little bit of decorating. So if you missed that video, be sure to go back in the playlist and check that out. So. In this video, we're going to make a couple of tags for here. We're going to stuff these pockets and do a little bit more um, decorating, and then we're going to put something on the front in our closure. So to start with, I want to start with this smaller um, card that came in her kit, and I'm just going to use some of this leftover paper here. I have a really cute idea for this and I'm super excited to try it and see if it works. I haven't done it. So we're all going to learn together on if it'll work or not. So okay, so I'm just going to stick this on here like so. And then we're going to cut it out. And then I'm going to put coffee dyed paper on the back so it can be used as a journaling card. I hope everybody is well today. I hope you're all able to get in your craft rooms and make a little bit of something. You know, I find if you can just get in your craft room for 10 or 15 minutes and just do something, it will, you know, lift your mood and make you feel all that much more better. Okay, that's a little too small. Let's get another piece here. As you can see, I still have everything on my desk from the first video, so, okay, I went to go visit my son at summer camp today, this is his first year at summer camp, he went with um, his boy scout troop, uh -huh. and he's a little homesick, he's been there since Sunday, and today's Wednesday, so he's feeling a little homesick and he kind of wanted to come home and we talked him out of it and you know got him to stay and um he's only got two more nights and I told him you know that he could call us on the phone and we could video chat and all that stuff he's he's 15 and he's never really been away from home like that um he's really a home buddy just like I am I'd rather stay home than go anywhere so there's that okay so I'm just going to ink around this we're using the distress oxide and the color worn lipstick because we're making this shabby 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 I'm just going to ink around the front here. We're going to ink around the back. We'll have to re-ink our corners because after I sew this, we will corner around our corners. Okay, so I have this piece and I have one of the tabs. And I want to use this wood pattern that we have to cover the tab. And I wrote myself a note on the back of the tab so that I wouldn't forget to do this. And this is the part that I've never done before. 
that I hope works. Okay. So let's just trim this out. It's a beautiful day here today. It's a little warm in the sun. Um, my husband got a bit of a sunburn while we were setting out at the campsite with our son. They have such a nice little campsite out there. I've never been out there before. But it was real nice. They had a shelter right in the middle. And then they had like these wood pallets that they set their tents up on so that if it did rain, which it did last night, um, all the stuff in the bottom of their tent went and get all wet, and it was really nice. They had trees all around them, and a bathroom right next to them, so. Okay, so what I'm going to do with this is we're going to fold it in half, and use our bone folder here. Okay, so I'm going to glue this to the top of our card in the center here after I ink it. Ooh, I almost didn't ink it. Did y'all see that? I was going to go ahead and glue it on. Okay. Now we can glue it on. And y'all have probably read my note to myself there. And y'all probably know what we're going to do already. Okay. That a nice little press. Okay, so I'm going to take this to my sewing machine and I'm just going to do a straight stitch around it and we'll be right back. Okay, so I've gone ahead and I've stitched around this and now I'm going to attempt to round the corners and that's not going to work at the top. So we'll just round the bottom corners because my my tabs in the way for the top but that's okay because we're gonna do something fun on top anyway so you're going to want your crocodile for this let me move some things out of the way here and I'm just going to punch a hole here and here You kind of want to somewhat make it straight across from each other. And then I have these gray eyelets that I'm just going to pop in here. Make sure you switch your tool over to the eyelet setter. So now we have that, and now I'm going to take a piece of this pink ribbon that we used in video one for the tops of our tags. I'm going to feed it through this side, and then I'm going to feed it through this side, and then I'm going to tie a little bow in the front here. Okay, bring our little tails down. Okay, so I have my little bow tied here. 
and I've got it pretty much how I want it. So I'm just going to go in and snip off some of this extra. And I'm going to take stays on in the color Dove Gray. And do a bit of script stamping. I like the Dove Gray because it's just very faint and you know it gives it enough without giving it too much. I really like that. So just do a tad bit on the back here. Okay, and then if you wanted to, you could hang something from there, like a little ball pen and a charm or something. Um, maybe I have a cute little flower we can put there. Let's see, or maybe maybe a little bug. Let's see if I have a a cute little bug we can put on there. I don't want anything too big. That little butterfly would be perfect. Okay, so let's get a bolt pen. And I'm just going to use a silver one. And let's get a jump ring as well. I find if you use a jump ring on your charms that it just gives it a little bit more wiggle. Okay, so let's open up our jump ring. Put our butterfly on there, close the jump ring. When doing jump rings, always remember to pull towards you and away from you. Never pull outwards like this because that will distort the shape of your ring and you will never get it back in there the same way again. Okay, so I'm just going to go through the center of the bow right here and clip that and there we have a cute little tag with a bow and a charm I think that's adorable I really do so we'll bring this in here and then this is just going to slide into our front pocket right here okay now for these pockets I want to do a little bit of decorating so I'm just using this piece of music paper that I started using in the first video And I just want a piece for there, and then I also need a piece for the top pocket. That's a little big. Just give it a light ink around the edges to cover up that white core of the paper. Of course, if you tore your paper the other way, you wouldn't have that. Okay, so I'm going to glue the music paper down to the pockets. Just like so. 
Okay, we'll get this one glued on. Oops. Just like that. Okay, we'll get some pink cheesecloth. You know, staying in the theme of pink. going to put this there and then we're going to use one of the words out of the envelope folder envelope kit need a little more ink on my dauber I'm going to just go ahead and crease that where it wanted to Put some ink on it. Okay, so for this, since we're using the cheesecloth behind it, I want to use the Fabri Tac. It will help hold it better. So I'll just put some Fabri Tac on there, and we'll try not to glue it to our table. Okay, get it the right way. And we're just going to stick that over top of that. Simple and cute. Okay, so we'll do the same thing with the top, only we'll use a different word. Get a piece of cheesecloth here that's a little too big. Okay, we'll put that like that. And then I have first class. We'll kind of wrinkle that up in a couple little spots as well. Okay. Again, using the fabric tack because we're gluing through the cheesecloth. And then stick our lid on. That one's a bit of a bigger word, so I'm going to put this one more center. Okay. And now for these pockets, I have gone ahead and picked out some pieces I want to use. For the top pocket, I have this Western Union Telegram. So we're just going to ink around it. Do the same thing on the back. I could have inked these, you know, before I came on video so you didn't have to sit and watch me ink, but it shouldn't take too long. So this piece is going to stick right here in this top pocket. And then for the bottom pocket, I've got these three pieces. I've got this little miniature guest check. And we'll just stick that right there. And then we have this bingo card. If anybody wins bingo with this card, you gotta split it with me. You know, 50% winning. <coughs> stick that in behind there. And then, of course, I loved this piece of her ephemera kit, so I had to use it. Oh, I don't think I inked the back of that bingo card. And with this one, I have an idea. Okay. Nope, I sure didn't. All 
Alrighty, so we got that inked. Now this has that little staple in there already, but why don't we just take our tiny attacher and make it a real staple. Now I'm going to flip mine over and I'm going to use my bone folder and I'm going to smush the back of that just to make sure it's down because I don't want anyone to hurt themselves on it. And then that's there like so. So now all we have to do is a card for this back pocket here which is going to be this card and then maybe put a little bit of lace down there I think that looks nice let's pull this out so we don't get glue on that and let's cover our ink So I'm just going to run some Fabri-Tac along there, and then we'll put our lace on, hold it there for a second. And then I think... I want to make a little cluster. We can put that there and then put something on top of it. But what would we put on top of that? Let's see here. Maybe another word of hers? Or maybe a label? Let's see what we got for labels. I've got all these. Some of these are Tracy Fox and some are just from other places that, you know, I saw the labels and had to have them. You know how it is. I kind of like that. It's small, it's sweet, and it does the trick. So I'm going to ink it up a little bit. And we'll put Fabri-Tac on the back of it. Recapping the glue so I don't have a avalanche of glue. Going to fold that down. And then we're just going to put that right there. I'll hold it in place for a minute, or not literally a minute, but you know. I got my drawer stuck over here. Okay, I think that's really cute. I'm going to cut that and trim it there. Okay. I think I'm going to cut these a little shorter here in the back. That's just on that tag there in the back. And I'll cut these just a tad shorter as well. We don't need them quite so long. Okay, so let's put this back in our first pocket. And then we have to decorate this up and then do our closure. So, with this piece, let's find... piece of cardstock for it. Well, that's too small. Okay. Here's the... Okay, that'll work. It will work. 
I'm so excited. This is, I had a vision in my head and it's coming together so nicely. So I'm going to cut this out, put coffee dyed paper on it, ink it, and sew around it, and I'll be back. Okay, so I have taken and put the decorative paper on this side and the coffee dyed on this side. I've inked it all. I've sewn around it all. Now we're going to decorate it a little bit and then do the front cover. So I'm going to do like we did in the first video with our tags and I'm just going to take a piece of this music paper, ink around it to hide that white core of the paper. And then I'm going to glue this down Let's ink around this word journal that came from the uh, folder envelope kit. And I think I'm going to put some cheesecloth behind it just to uh, zhuzh it up a little bit. Okay, let's set that there like so. Use the fabric tack that way it gets down into the weave of the fabric tack, or that way the fabric tack gets down into the weave of the cheesecloth and sticks everything to the page. Okay. So then on the back of this, I'm just going to take our script stamp that we've been using throughout and this stays on in the color Dove Gray and just do some stamping. Looks good to me. Okay. So we're going to call this journal card done. And this is just going to go into this back pocket here. Okay, so now we need some self-adhesive dots. So what I'm going to do with these self-adhesive dots I'm going to use two sets of them, so you need two of the hook side and two of the loop side. I'm just going to place them to where they're on either side of the thumb hole. They don't have to be perfectly spaced from the ends or anything like that. Just good enough that when you close this and then you close this, it's going to hold. And I'm thinking I need another one right there in the middle. So for the one in the middle, we're going to want to put it right here to make sure why is that not sticky oh because <laughs> I put it together backwards wow that's a first okay let's try this again Okie doke. 
So if you look here and you look here, you can see that those are past that. So I'm just going to go ahead and put it right here in line with those. If you don't feel that your self-adhesive dots are going to hold, then you can put a little extra glue on the back of them. I think mine are fine. Okay, so for the cover, I might have to set something on top of it for a little bit. But for the cover, I have this flower and these couple of leaves, and I think it's just gorgeous. I already laid it out on there, so I know how I want it laid out. These are... I believe by the paper studio. So I want to take this and put my leaf so it's at the top on the lace there and then bring this part down towards the middle there. And then I'm going to do the same thing with this one only in reverse and it is going to overlap here in the middle and I'm fine with that because that's where we're going going to stick the flower so make sure you get each little petal And then I know I want my leaf to end there, so that's where I'm going to start it at. And I'm going to take this pink flower, I'm going to put plenty of glue on it, and then we're going to pop it right there in the middle. Isn't that just cute? I think that's just darling. Okay, so I'm going to flip this over, grab my pen, and I'm going to sign my work. Always remember to sign your work. I forget, like, 99% of the time. And it's 2000, so I put, or it's 2022 so I put 22 there so this is what we've come up with let me move all my junk out of the way and we'll just do a little flippity dippity through here so here's the cover nice and simple some lace a couple pieces of leaf the flower velcro closure so it opens up you have your first class pocket here with a little Western Union telegram inside of it down here you have another little pocket that says paperwork and here you've got your guest check your bingo card and your public library of Toronto children's card so these just go back in like so so over here you just have a little bit of lace and this little ribbon with the 241 and then we have this cute little journaling card with our butterfly and our bow. Coffee dyed paper and stamping on the back. In the second pocket back here, we have our journal journaling card with just coffee dyed paper and a little bit of light stamping. Then when you close it back up, you can flip it over to the back and we have this double pocket here. It says delivered. It's got some lace and some of the music paper. We've got the smaller tag with coffee dyed paper 
and stamping. And then we have the larger tag in the second pocket with also coffee dyed paper and stamping. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I had a lot of fun making this. Um, it was fairly quick and simple actually uh, to make this. So I think I might make a couple more. Um, they'd be great to send out in happy mail or you know, put a little letter in there or some tea bags in these littler pockets. And there's all kinds of ways you can rearrange the pockets in this. You don't have to do it the way I did it. Mine did get a little bulky, and I'll explain why. When I printed the template out, I printed it on 65 pound cardstock, and then I used cardstock on top of it. I don't recommend doing that because that's giving me a little bit of trouble closing it. So I think if you um, print the template itself out on regular copy paper and then cover it with cardstock, I think you'll be better off. So anyway, that is my project for Miss Caroline over at Caroline's Craft Tree. Again, all her information will be in the description down below, so be sure to check that out. If you liked this video or took anything away from it, please give it a thumbs up, share it, and subscribe to my channel. I would greatly appreciate it. And until next time, guys, stay safe and stay healthy. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.